What's up, guys? My name is Ashley. I have medium and, medium and clairvoyant abilities, and I use my abilities to lead you to more life and more light and to help you live your best life. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you do not resonate with this reading, that's okay, and you would like a more private, more strategic reading for your situation, feel free to click the link in my description and schedule a private reading. I would love to do one for you. Um, I've helped a lot of people on their path by doing one. If you do resonate it, that's awesome too. If you want more information, again, click the link in my description and I'll be happy to help you. Again, this is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, yeah, and it looks like you are in a situation where you need to seek counsel. So you have on the bottom of the deck, you have a hangman and a higher font combination. Both of them wanted to be seen, so I took both of them. Hangs man in the high refined combination. First of all, excuse my nails. I am so ashamed because I just got them done. My nails grow so fast. I leave the nail salon and my nails grow. Anyway, we have the high refined and the hangman combination. This is just saying seek wise counsel. Wise counsel can be a person that you rely on who you know is in tune and gives you great advice wise counsel can be your spirit guys depending on how connected you are but it's certainly telling you to go within with the hangman go within get in tune with yourself get in tune with the inner truth living inside of you the spirit of truth living inside of you get in tune with your all-knowing power um meditate find balance whatever it is you need to do go within and seek wise counsel from yourself and from others seek new insight and clarity so that you can make a clear decision because the situation that is this is involved in this can be a work situation this can be a love situation because let's see i can pull the oracle card to go with this reading but we're got regardless of what situation it is um it requ it's uncertain for you Ooh, but it's time to take action on it so don't take much longer because it's time to take action on this situation with the moon card you're uncertain maybe that's why you're taking so long do what you have to do seek wise counsel go within but don't take too long because it's time to take action and you're uncertain about this situation and that explains you know why you would need to go within or why you need to seek wise counsel but it's going to require you to have a leap of faith so take a calculated risk seek wise counsel Follow your intuition, go within, seek new insight and clarity, get the clarity you need, meditate, whatever you have to do. But at the end of the day, it's going to require you to take a leap of faith. So you have to make sure that you are taking a calculated leap of faith and that it's worth the risk. Because at the end of the day, it has the potential to bear fruit. It has the potential to be lucrative for you. It has the potential to be something that um can help you advance your life yeah look at this the bottom of the deck of that meditate and contemplate don't take too long though because it's time to take action on this job on this um relationship on this whatever it is it is time for you to take action now new moon in aries alludes to a new start and it says you're on the right track if you draw this card, it is superbly positive sign that it is. If there is something that you want to happen in your life, take this card as a big yes. But you may have still, you may still have a long way to go, which is the uncertainty. But don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals, and you'll create better karma for yourself. But it is basically saying it's time to take action on whatever it is that this is calling you to take action on. And seek new insight and clarity, seek wise counsel, meditate, contemplate, get the answers that you seek, and take a calculated leap of faith towards a situation that has the potential to bear fruit, that has the potential to be lucrative for you, that has the potential to um, be something great. And with the Eight of Pentacles, it just to me, it just seems like it's work-related. It's about your craft, mastery of your craft, and, and the limited potential that you get from Taking a leap of faith, the, the you know the good karma that you put out in the universe when you take a leap of faith and you trust the universe and you put your life in in the universe hands and knowing that what you're gonna get back is something even better than what you left behind. Again, this is a sign. This is a general. <laughs> I must be tired. It is 6:24 a.m. and how many readings I got left? Three more. But anyway, 
this is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. I hope this helps you. I wish you more light and more life. Peace.